Ooh, well, it's kind of fun to put together. Um, kind of frustrating at the same time, but um, here it is, the finished Land Speeder. It's a really nice looking vehicle. And um, a lot of detail, a lot of play value to it. And um, not much articulation to it or anything like that, but um, feature to it. Oh, you can open this up right here. You can open this up right here, like that. And um, you could store whatever you please in there. Most pieces fell out, so put them back. There we go. And uh, store the lightsabers. And that in there, but um, put this back on. Oh, it's kind of hard to review this thing. Pieces are falling off, but um, yeah. And there's the finished land speeder. Oh, I forgot a little steering wheel there, and I'm really, really, really nice set. Really nice vehicle, you know. If you're a fan of the classic Star Wars or whatnot, I highly recommend this. It's really nice uh, to have in your collection, and it's not that hard to build. Nice little uh, secondary set to put together. So, uh, so Lance Peter, and I um, might be a fool not to review the uh, minifigures. So let's start with um. Obi Wan Kenobi. Not gonna go over the articulation. You guys know what Legos, you know what they're all about. But, um, I mean, it comes with a lightsaber, and um, they seem to have upgraded the uh, minifigures a bit. More detail and whatnot. But, um, got his lightsaber. Gray hair like that. And, uh, Obi Wan. Next up, is it Storm Trooper or Sand Trooper, whatever you want to call. And um, has a black head. <laughs> it's really cool and uh, little energy pack. There's only two lightsabers. It looks as if. So, uh, yeah, but Sand Trooper, so Jedi Knight, supposedly. Uh, and he has a blaster there. Yeah, just a basic Stormtrooper figure. Really does look nice. Nice detail in this one. And, um, let's have a look at the next one. It's the um, Sentry Droid. Not much to this one, um, just a little, little assembly of Lego pieces. Um, yeah, not too much to this one. Put it on the stand like that and pretend it's wow, 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 wow. And, um, a little thing in the back here can uh, down like that. But I'm not much to this one, probably my least favorite. I don't really care much for this one. But, um,. It's alright. And stopping from everyone's favorite Astro McDroid or 2D2. This one maybe someday I'll do like a comparison to older figures, but um this one they seem to have uh, redone most out of all of them. Uh, it seems to have, we have a little bigger. But um still looks cool. There's a gray head there. Lot of detail. Back in the front. So arms can do that. And, um, that's a R two D two. Next up, one's favorite protocol droid. C three PO. And um, seemed to have a uh, repainted as more of a gold than the original. The original one was more like a beige color or something like that. Um, this one's more gold. 
we have a couple months back they had a Chrome C three PL offer for the Darth Vader and Stormtrooper. And a Chrome C three PL. I never got my hands on that one, but C three PL. And last but not least, Luke Skywalker. Really nice looking figure. Lots of detail in this one. He has his um farmer's outfit on and he had in episode four, A New Hope. And he also has his lightsaber. Or Anakin's lightsaber, I should say. A really nice looking figure. See, they gave him long hair. I think the original one had short hair, if I'm not mistaken, but. Really nice looking figure. So, there you go. There is the, um, um Luke's Lance Beater rum set. Um, retail for about $24, um, a couple weeks back, but, um, I believe it's on retail now, so you can pick, go pick it up at your local Walmart or your Target, whatever. And, um, I will see you guys later. Possibly with another Lego review or another action figure review, but, um, I'll be back with many more reviews in the near future. So stay tuned for those, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.